Welcome to our discussion on the fifth learner-centered psychological principle, thinking about thinking, also known as metacognition. Let's explore how reflecting on our thought processes can enhance learning. As discussed by this principle, higher-order strategies for selecting and monitoring mental operations facilitate creative and critical thinking. And successful learners can reflect on how they think and learn, set reasonable learning or performances goals, select potentially appropriate learning strategies or methods, and monitor their progress towards these goals. In addition, successful learners know what to do if a problem occurs or if they are not making sufficient or timely progress toward a goal. They can generate alternative methods to reach their goal, or reassess the appropriateness and utility of the goal. Instructional methods that focus on helping learners develop these higher-order, metacognitive, strategies can enhance student learning and personal responsibility for learning. What exactly is metacognition? It's the ability to reflect on how we think and learn, which is a crucial skill for successful learners. Metacognition involves several key steps, setting reasonable learning or performance goals, selecting the appropriate strategies to achieve these goals, and monitoring your progress to make adjustments as needed. When a problem occurs, metacognitive thinkers assess the situation, generate alternative strategies, and if necessary, reassess the goal to ensure it's still appropriate and achievable. Educators can enhance metacognitive skills by teaching higher-order strategies, encouraging students to reflect on their thinking processes, and helping them take personal responsibility for their learning. For teachers, this simply means guiding students in setting and monitoring their goals, providing opportunities for reflection and self-assessment, and encouraging them to develop problem-solving skills that enhance their learning. For example, during a math class, a teacher asks students to explain how they arrived at their answers. This process encourages students to reflect on their own thinking and problem-solving strategies, helping them become more aware of their cognitive processes. For students, metacognition involves reflecting on how you think and learn, setting realistic goals, choosing effective strategies, and continuously monitoring your progress so you can make adjustments as needed. In conclusion, metacognition is the key to both creative and critical thinking. By reflecting on your thinking, you can enhance your learning and achieve your goals more effectively. Thank you for watching. Remember, thinking about your thinking, metacognition, is a powerful tool for enhancing your learning and reaching your goals.